The design process for me actually really starts with the script. I have to really take it, absorb it, analyze every aspect of it. But the, the important thing for me is to be able to um, take the script and have it become like a living entity inside me. I have a responsibility to the other artist in the room, which is the playwright. Morris's plays are interesting in the sense that they appear to be linear in thought. In actual fact, they're not. And he often has characters move in and out of time in a very fluid sort of way. So you're not sure whether or not somebody's actually talking to another character or they're talking to the audience or they're talking to themselves. There are certain images that are in the script that, that kind of like strike me. And one was like starkness of tree branches, um, ice flows, sharp edges, um, the ice, the cold, um, the isolation. They're out in the country. Um, the isolation becomes a metaphor for their own personal isolation in their lives and what they've done. They've created sometimes their own kind of emotional isolation, which um, becomes problematic with relationships. So a lot of that is dealt with. And so in thinking about the palette, for instance, for the show, I, that I wanted to keep a very limited control palette of just blues and slate and grays and light beiges and clear white. I am a scenic artist as well, and so as such, my shows have a tendency to be very painterly. Um, I'm very keen on making sure that the finishes on a show are painted extremely well. And I'm very lucky here in Montreal when I work here because I have very good scenic artists here. Uh, Daniel Barkley is the head scenic artist at Centaur and we've worked together for a number of years. And have developed an awful lot of uh, interesting painting techniques um, because of that. One of the things that we wanted to make sure is that with the branches, the branches are clear so that they have, um, they'll be backlit as well as frontlit, so they will look like they're made out of ice. So they'll have this translucent and transparent quality in places, not solid like normal branches are. So that helps to give that sort of sense of cold and that sense of fragmentation again. And um, it gives a very particular mood as well. And so that's what I want them to sense, especially when they first, first come in. And then as they go up into their seats, they turn around, then they see the full picture of this wrapped around the entire environment. So that becomes holding this emotional situation together as they try to discover why it is the way that it is with themselves. And hopefully the audience will connect with that as well.